Good morning, everyone. TGIF, happy Friday. Woo! Live from the Cube Studios, Lisa Martin, Savannah Peterson. This is day four of Super Cloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy. Savannah, we have had three incredible days. We really have. Of talking a lot of things, AI, data, I think democratization. Everything. Yeah. Pop cakes, aliens. I mean, I, I, I am just delighted. You know, I've got my hands wrapped around my warm cup of coffee this morning, just feeling so grateful for the last four days that we've gotten to share together to all of our fantastic guests, to the brilliant team that we get to work alongside. A quick a shout out to Rob and Rebecca holding down the fort over yeah. at HPE Discover in Barcelona, to John and Dave working their bums off down there in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent, and to both of us for holding down the fort while cheers. the cats are away. Cheers hey, well, cheers. Caffeinated cheers. Yeah, yes. and you know, not just on the host side, but we've got production teams in all of those locations as and well. And all fabulous. So shout out to everyone here in the Cube studio. You've all done a really fantastic job keeping as the lights as on. As always do. And, and making everybody look fantastic. The transitions have been smooth, balancing a lot of different locations and a lot of different yeah, it's been amazing. plates in the air this week. Very impressive work from the entire Cube team and our friends over at SiliconANGLE. Absolutely, but you know, as I say, it's not just a canon of Cube content. The Cube is a finely tuned, well-oiled machine. You brought it up, you know, us doing, yeah. covering SuperCloud from different locations. You mentioned Rob and Rebecca in, at HPE in Barcelona. If you've missed any of the content, editorial, siliconangle.com. Also, all the video content on thecube.net, also our YouTube channel. And something that Savannah and I have been having fun playing around with this week is the Cube AI. So fun. So much fun. Thecubeai.com, check it out, it's out of beta. This is 10 years of copious amounts of content from IT decision makers. It was funny, it reminds me, uh, I like to call it a cornucopia of knowledge. Yes. And, the, and that's cornucopia a tongue-in-cheek. Cornucopia, very seasonal right now. Right, it's, it's tongue-in-cheek. When I was studying biology as an undergrad, I was in physics for engineers, and I was, I was not good, I had a tutor. And he said to me, very seriously, I am a cornucopia of physics knowledge. And I never forgot that. I'm like, the cube is a cornucopia of technology knowledge. And now with cubeai.com. I appreciate, yeah, no, it really is. I appreciate that your physics teacher taught you vocabulary. I, I know, it was an added bonus. Yeah, really. Yeah. You know. And he said it with all seriousness. And you're one of those who's always learning, Lisa Martin, one of the many things <laughs> I love about you. Any favorite interviews that we've had over the last three days as we get ready to kick off day four? Okay, so it's really hard to pick a favorite. A couple highlights for me that stand out, so I don't play favorites, is I love that with Balaji, we really zoned in on the developer productivity and that easy button. We've defined what that is, that, that basic foundation, and it's not basic, it's actually very complex, but it's that foundation that can be used by multiple people, lots of things in this space now open source, so that anyone can create on top of most of these big large language models, yeah. which is very exciting. I also really love that Balaji was the, week, the reason that aliens were a part of our show. Yes, yes. We were able to bring that conversation to Vaughn, who is full of absolutely outstanding insights. I love that they're both believers. I'm curious. I think it would be great to continue to ask Cube yes about that. And then I really liked our, our digital experience insights this morning from Dave. It's great to think about how, I mean, I think for you and I, you know, we're women in tech, we're people in tech, doesn't matter our gender. And we're we're always thinking about the user experience of yeah. something. It's yeah. kind of like, you know, once you've been a waitress, you can't unsee what's going on in the restaurant. For us, I'm always thinking about UX, speed, usability. And I love that on the show here today, or this whole week, we've seen things actually in action. We've seen Grok yes. at speed. Obviously, big fan of yes. everything we do with Grok, the llamas, the whole shebang, it's a blast. But their demo speaks for itself. And I think that that's incredibly compelling, as did Dave's data with that 68% of millennials yeah. would leave their job yeah. if the digital experience wasn't up to snuff. Yeah. Uh, that's a huge percentage. It's over two thirds. It is. So I think it's I think it's been really interesting. We've gotten some great insights. Go ahead. Yeah. I was gonna say, did that surprise you as a millennial? Did that surprise you that the number is that high of those who would say, I'm leaving if this experience isn't digital and seamless? Well, so it reminds me of another stat that I always have off the cuff. 78% of millennials say that a sense of purpose is the number one reason that they choose a job over income. 
So we think that it's money that's driving people. It's not. It's a sense of purpose, and it's a quality of experience at that place that's giving you purpose. So it doesn't exactly surprise me. I run a company called Savvy Millennial. We are all about that millennial demanding nature, but in a great way. We know what we want, and we're willing to ask for it. Yep. Just like uh, many of our guests on the Cube and a lot of the founders that we get a chance to talk to, they're willing to ask and create what they want from AI, and we're getting to see some of the coolest companies some of the coolest companies we out really there. Are. We it, really are. We really are. Yeah. We get we get to learn from the incumbents like the AWSs who've been around for a long time and, and yeah. see they're reinventing themselves, pun intended. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard a lot of that coming from John and Dave the last couple of days. We're going to hear more about that on today's coverage. We had another great lineup of probably at least a dozen interviews coming your way today. Um, from uh, VMware is going to be here. We've got some of the leaders from AWS who came from the keynote stage to the Cube. We're going to be talking with partners. We're going to be talking telco. It's another exciting day four promises to be as action packed and exciting as the first three days. I have absolutely no doubt. And you know, Lisa, I was just thinking as you were recapping that so well and talking about what lies ahead for us today on this absolutely beautiful Silicon Valley Friday. I'm, I'm Noticing, you know, the, a lot of the conversations that we've had uh, at SuperCloud here this week have actually been a bit, uh, quite a bit of a Venn diagram overlap between Cloud Native Cons, KubeCon just a few weeks ago, our conversations at Supercomputing, and then now with the conversations, the editorial conversations that we're having in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent, as well as the conversations that we've had in here in the studio. Yeah. I think it goes to show to the main thesis of this whole week and, and to the hype in general, AI is going to affect everything. And it's going to be a topic of conversation at every conference, no matter Absolutely. the genre or, or the topic. And it's funny just to think of, of a mere year ago. Yesterday, we celebrated ChatGPT's first birthday. And looking at reInvent, we were all there last year. And AI yeah. was part of the conversation. But this year, w with this, I, I, it's like a fuel injection um, or a really catalyst. Is. The rocket last, fuel. The la yeah. Yeah, rocket fuel, yes. The last fuel. year. Get to the super clouds. Yes, rocket but even, even yesterday, and, and our rep, you were talking, I love this, about just the, all, the, the democratization of AI. We're going to hear more about that on today's show. But allowing you know moms at home who might have a, a problem that they need solved quickly, yeah. having the opportunity to leverage AI to come up with a business model in seconds. Yeah. It's, a, it's fascinating. It is. I love it. It is. I'm excited, and I can't wait to hear from all of our guests today on this beautiful Friday. Yes, with that said, I'm going to toss it over to John. He's live on the show floor in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent, on the ground with Pernima from Broadcom. You're going to want to check this out. From Savannah Peterson, Lisa Martin, you're watching theCUBE, the leader in live cloud and generative AI coverage. John, it's all yours. Mm -hmm.